Some students come to me after being top students in their class and working in the engineering field for a few years, and yet have not found the right resources to help them pass the FE exam. And Malik is a perfect example. See, Malik is a smart engineer and he failed the FE exam seven times. And he passed the FE civil in October 2021 after completing the morning and afternoon accelerator courses. And he wants to share his story with you guys so that you can pass your FE exam as well. And remember that no matter how many times you fail, you keep getting up and you keep trying again and also to learn to know when it's time to find something new that will actually help you pass your FE exam. I hope you guys enjoy this episode. Hey Malik, thank you so much for joining me today. It's all my pleasure, Kenza. Thanks for having me. Great. Yeah, I'm really excited to do this. So before we dive in into the time management resources, your whole FE journey, I know it's been a rough journey for you. So you graduated in 2012 with a civil engineering degree. When did you exactly start preparing for the FE exam? So I graduated in 2012. Uh, actually, I'm from, not from here. I'm from abroad. I'm from Pakistan at the same year before I was about to get my degree. That was my very first. Okay. So you've been trying to pass your FE exam since 2019 and you, you attempted the FE seven times. What kept you uh, going to keep trying to pass this test and not like, you know, give up at some point? Uh, of course, Kenza. I, uh, because I, I left everything back in, back home, you know, my job, I had a full-time permanent government job that I was doing back there. So, 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 you know, it was a new start for me and I, I decided, you know, to, to not quit because that wasn't an option. And, you know, my, my parents, my family, they, ke- they kept on motivating me and they were like uh, downtime as well, where I thought maybe it's not for me. Uh, but then, you know, in the office, in my job, I had a mentor that said that, you know, no matter what, you have to keep pushing. You have to keep pushing. If nothing worse, just change your methodology. You will get it. You will get to it. You know? I don't know. And then after third, fourth, fifth attempt, I kept on trying the, you know, the same thing, you know, Linderberg, Linderberg. I was not, you know, I was, you know, I, I started getting disappointed at that point of time. You know, that's it. There's so, something really, really wrong. And then at, in my sixth attempt, I bought a course. That was a PP, PPI or some, I, I don't know, maybe, so maybe it was a PPI course. Uh, then they guarantee that, you know, taking our course, will, you will pass. And because I need, really needed it. And I was like, man, they guarantee it. And uh, I took that course. But while going through that course, I was sure that this is not going to work because that the problems were really, really difficult. And they were not mimicking because Effie was on the back of my mind what questions they asked because probably there were very few people who did as many times as I did. So I exactly knew what they asked and what they're training me for. Uh, but I was, you know, I, I still, you know, I, I said maybe, you know, give it a try. Let's see, maybe we, there's a different outcome because I changed my method. I fail again. Your videos, I, ha- I have been watching your videos since uh, my, my fourth attempt, you know, and okay. since start of 2018, I guess, you know, all these, those interview videos and everything. And I was like, hey, uh, this is the, all the testimonials, the reviews, they, they're all good. And then I went on Reddit and, you know, people started posting about you. Hey, you won't regret it. Just take this course, you know, put money on it and you will, you know, you'll be happy. Uh, and, you know, thank me later and stuff like that. So. Now that you pass your FE exam and just, you know, looking back, what would you say, like the thing that you struggled with the most during this whole time? Well, I, I struggle with the uh, time management, to be honest, that I, I, I thought that I am, every time I try to get a, you know, solve a problem, it used to take me a lot more time, like more than, probably more than three and a half minutes, even for, for medium hard questions, medium hard to hard questions. But then uh, I, I still remember, you know, you keep on mailing, emailing the, all the students, you know, the tips and tricks. Uh, I, then I went through one of the tricks that you 
posted on uh, you, you sent an email to all your students and that was uh, Pernita's experience that she doesn't time herself while solving the you know regular questions she only times herself when she starts you know she 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 writes the practice exam so i i you know applied that strategy uh, you know you know don't time yourself just grasp the co- key concepts and then you know when you take your actual exam you just time yourself so that helped me a lot you know in that struggle yeah i think a lot of times when students are learning the concepts as they're learning they try to focus also on time management but that's hard because like either you learn or you're gonna have to do it under three minutes but you're still learning so when you rush it what ends up happening is that now you're rushing it so you're not learning as much as you're supposed to and so during the exam it's taking you longer you see it's right. like it's like a cycle and you just like so you really have to you know there's two parts to the exam the part where you actually learn the concepts and that will take as much as time as you need right because there's students been out of school for a while there's students who graduated a long time ago so every student is different and once you're done with that process then the second thing is taking practice exams and doing a lot of time management now i know you took a lot of practice exams because we did talk a lot when your exam got closer so we'll dive in into that a little bit more later but i want to ask you like how many months did you study for your last attempt eight months i would say yeah and i remember you shared that with me and at the moment i really like that because like you gave yourself so much time to study for this test because a lot of our students you know they would send us an email be like hey like how long would it take me to you know finish this thing and get over with and then pass the FE exam, you know, can I do it in two months or a month? And I'm like, you know, like, let's take a step back. Cause like you, when you go online, there's a lot of people who tell you, you know, just study a week or just review a month and you'll be fine. And there's some people who say, you know, it will take you three to four months. And honestly, like it really depends on people. And I notice a lot of people work full time. So they don't have a lot of time to study like eight hours a day. And so usually, you know, three to four months, it's usually average, but a lot of times, you know, taking more time to process and learn, it's really important. And I really loved about uh, that about you. Now, so you've been studying, like you said, for eight months, how many hours did you study a day during the week? And then, and then also during the weekend? I would say that uh, during during my uh, office hours, I would study on average uh, three hours because my job is not that much stressful. It's a desk job, so I can budget like uh, three hours on average a week. Uh, sorry, a day. So you'd say uh, almost eighteen to twenty hours. Uh, so twenty five hours because five hours uh, on the weekends. So I would say twenty five hours a week. Okay, awesome. Did you feel like burnout during this whole time you were studying? Uh, no, uh, because, you know, I, I have done it a lot of times. So, you know, I, and also you, you keep on suggesting that, you know, take a break, you know, take a moment to understand that, you know, if you're grasping it or you're forcing it, as, as soon as I realize that I'm forcing or pushing myself and it's not actually I'm grasping the concept, I would stop. And I would probably do something else. Listen, listen to a song, you know, take a break so that my, my you know, it's, it, you know, my, it's so that if they say that when you uh, take a mental break and do something else, you get more focus when you get back on, on, on track on, on the, on doing the same thing that you have been doing. So that I have been doing that a lot. Yeah, I really like that because a lot of students, you know, they would sometimes email me and be like, hey, you know, when I'm not studying, I feel guilty, but then I'm also burning out. And it's like, no, you actually do need the break for you to be able to study more. So the more break you take, the, 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 the better you feel when you're studying. So it's very important to do that. I do want to go back to um, like your study schedule. So you studied for eight months and was there any at any point where you felt like, what if, what if you forget the material that you studied, you know, six months ago or four months ago? Did you, were you scared of that? Did you have trouble retaining information? Uh, 
Yes, uh, honest. And the best tip that I, I think that worked at least for me, it's coming from someone who, again, has done a lot of times, is that I used to write notes on the handbook, you know, it's right in front of that topic. So whenever I opened that topic, I would say, hey, problem 31, Kenza, structure analysis, problem 31. I did this mistake. Mm -hmm. I did this mistake. So I should have done this. Correct. But now, since you have uh, introduced that feature, the favorites feature, Mm -hmm. uh, that would probably help a lot of students now because that would help them retain that information and your notes features. So that's really well. But I I, that personally, that helps them. That helped me a lot. Before you go in, you have to know what you know and what you don't know. And by you writing, okay, this is my mistake, which means like, this is what I don't know. This is how now I should correct it, you know, and that kind of helped you retain that for your FE exam. So um, I think that was really uh, cool. And thank you for sharing that. That's actually pretty awesome. Now, you mentioned that you took PPI. Was there any other courses did you take? Or was it just PPI that you took? No, other than that, you know, the, uh, I guess there's a YouTube video of a professor. I don't remember, exactly remember, I guess that was from Marshall University. That's pretty common, Mm -hmm. you know, they used to take that a lot. They take that video a lot. And then the courses, the free courses, whatever was available online, I guess, from different universities, even Texas A&M, I'm from Texas A&M. So they had their own course. So I, all the free stuff, I've tried that. But, you know, the only one that I paid for was that PPI. Okay. Uh, yeah. What was the decision factor for you to go from our free YouTube videos to getting our courses and invest again? It's just because, you know, it, it felt real. You know, when, when I saw the testimonials of students, um, you know, going online, you know, because you have, I guess, on Reddit, I've, you know, hearing from p- different people, you know, because I, I used to post uh, the best review course on Reddit you know, but that I started after, you know, taking a look at your testimonials, everyone, it it, it felt real. During this whole journey, was there anything that you found that that didn't work for you and you don't recommend it to students? Yes. uh, Well, you know, talking to a lot of students who just like me couldn't get through through the first or multiple attempts, they... uh, they focus a lot on, you know, they think that that Lindbergh book is kind of a, like a Bible to crush this FE course, which is absolutely not. They probably prepare you, you know, for the harder problems, but at FE exam, they, they don't test you, you know, based on the, the, they don't give you like these kind of hard problems. They, I think even these problems, both problems are even difficult for PE. So I guess I would advise students to, you know, uh, you, you know, take a breather from Lindbergh. Okay. I want to actually know, how did you spend your last month before the FE exam? Did you study more problems? Did you do more practice exams? What did you exactly do? I actually, uh, so the first two weeks, I, again, I was trying to retain my knowledge, whatever I learned, because at that point of time, I have gone through your videos like two times, you know, revision and practice. And I have gone through all the seven, I, 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 took, I mentioned that I, I took the practice exams seven times and that included the Islam book, Amar Islam. And then there was like, a, they, I mean, in your master class, I guess you said that's like three, four different practice exams that I, you know. Now, so you took the FE exam several times and this was your last attempt. You go into the exam. How are you feeling during the exam? Uh, honestly, Kenza, since, uh, again, it, it goes back to those practice exams since, because I went to the Houston library to take those exams because that's a quiet environment. And I, because they, I want to mimic that environment times and again, so that on the actual exam, I would feel like I'm doing a practice exam, you know, because I, I wanted to prepare myself that hard for this. So every week I would go to the library and I would practice timing for five hours, you know, take the break in 25 minutes, come back one one banana i'll take that during lunch break i I would you know just monitoring myself just just like the staff of ncws yeah awesome so you were you were nervous you were calm no and i it has to i have to give you credit for that because the the kind of preparation i you made me the question kind of questions you made me go through and all of us uh a lot of credit goes to that no, oh. yes. Yeah, I'm glad it helped. That's awesome. Yeah, I think you know the best way to do it is like 
know your concepts, know the material well, and practice. Practice the exam environment. So that's because that's how you're going to really be ready for this. this. So uh, talking about the actual exam, do you remember like how did you manage your time? Like did you, how much, how many hours did you spend in the morning? And then how many hours did you spend the afternoon? Actually, it's it's quite surprising because all my past attempts, I would always try to time myself. Like, okay, I would budget two and a half hours for the morning and I would do like two and like, like a typical strategy. Uh, I thought about that, but when I actually, because for, for me, morning course is harder because I'm a more like a technical guy. So the afternoon course seemed quite simple for me. So I was trying to get as many questions in the morning course as possible so that I feel confident that, okay, now afternoon, I know these are hard problems that would take more time. So I wanted to get as many, you know, morning questions correct as possible. So that's why I prepared hard for morning course so uh it helps you a lot you know once you feel confident after morning you, you know that half of you yeah you, you won't have battle but still uh what i did was like i again thought of budgeting two and a half hours but honestly you'd be surprised that i was able to finish the morning course in like an hour and it, it was done i even i was done revising and i was surprised i said maybe maybe i maybe you know this is not right you know i still have like one hour and i revised everything that's not correct so I was able to solve all the problems in a minute and some under a minute on average a minute. And I'm done with a, yeah. that's what I'm doing. Yeah. And what about the afternoon? So the afternoon again. Uh, so I, of course I took a quite bit of time because there was a lot of time left. So I wanted to make use of all, uh, all that time, but I would say in two hours, uh, one hour, 45 minutes, I was done with the afternoon as well. And then I revised, keep on revising until like, you know, because I was tired revising. Oh. Wow, you finished like before time. I did not know that. Yeah. You completed the morning in an hour. I'm so I'm so like processing that. That's amazing. <laughs> I'm just I'm just really proud of you. This is me like just really proud of you. You know, you you put I, I I've been, you know, monitoring you for a while. We've been talking a lot through emails and, and stuff. So like I know how much work you've put in, but it's like it's incredible what you have done. Like I mean, you know, you studied really hard, you showed up, you didn't give up after, you know, all this time, even if you took it, you know, several times, you still kept going and, and you nailed the exam, you finished it, you know, before time, which is awesome. It's amazing. Um, do you have any advice for students who are right now trying to pass the FE exam and who also took it several times and they're on the verge of giving up? Well, I, I think coming from a person again, I never give up, never give up. I would just say that the biggest thing that helped me pass this time was changing my methodologies. You try, you fail, don't give up. See, this time it didn't work. Just change it. Just, just don't keep on trying the same thing again and again. In my case, I tried to do the, to nail this test and like four times, you know, studying the Linderberg book. And I didn't change my methodology and I changed it and the results were different. So don't expect the same results, different results, you know, doing the same thing again and again, just, just change your methodology. Awesome. Okay, great. Well, Malik, thank you so much for taking the time and sharing your incredible story with us. I really appreciate it. And it's going to inspire a lot of students to keep going until they pass the FE exam. Thank you again. And congratulations. I'm really proud of you. Thank you so much. Play was all mine. Awesome. There are many resources out there for students who want to take the exam, but Malik is an example of another student that didn't find them useful when it came to actually passing the exam. I'm glad Malik shared his story with you guys because we know it's not easy to fail again and again and come here to talk about it. I'm also really thankful that he found Engineer and excited to see where his journey takes him next. Now, if you guys found his story inspiring, go ahead and comment, never give up below. And also, if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and check out these two videos right here. And thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great week and I will see you on the next video. À la prochaine. Oh yeah,